Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. So the Strife is a very good blaster, and there have been plenty of iterations of it over the years. But one of Nerf's favorite things to do is take the Strife and make something different out of it. Take a very simple concept and add things to it, like the Cam ECS-12, for example. Or in one of my favorite cases ever, the Demolisher. This is quite possibly my favorite blaster ever, right behind the strong arm, and today I'm going to try and explain why. <laughs> originally was a 2014 release in the Elite series, but was re-released in the Modulus series in 2019. The blaster is exactly the same though, so this review is basically still talking about the original 2014 one. With all that said, let's start with the design. Yeah, so people say this blaster looks clunky. Yeah, it is, but good heavens, does this thing look good? This is an awesome looking blaster in my opinion. I think that every single shape, every color contrast, every line, every stripe, the camouflage printing on it, every detail fits so well together that you almost can't even tell how gimmicky the blaster actually is. It looks good and it looks like it's meant to be. It looks like the Strife if the Strife were a primary and I genuinely think that the design looks really, really good from both sides even though no no painting because Hasbro sucks and they don't paint both sides of the freaking blasters anymore. Remember back in the day when they used to paint both sides? I miss the end strike days. That's why I've been reviewing so much end strike stuff the last week or so. But yeah, honestly, I'll address that in a minute. Honestly, I think the design of this blaster looks really, really good. And just for bonus points, it's got a barrel attachment and a stock attachment point and two rails. Let's talk about the ergonomics. It comes with this stock, so I'm gonna be putting this stock on while I talk about ergonomics. First, let's talk about the main grip. Oh my gosh, this is an awesome main grip. And I'm not even sure why, cause it looks really boring and generic. It's just a straight back Nerf grip, but it honestly feels so good on this blaster. It is a little bit small. I wish the grip was a tiny bit bigger, but it's nothing to write home about. As for the foregrip, it is this giant, chunky, super comfortable, nice filleted foregrip with the tiny issue of having this line down the middle that is very visible and very noticeable. It actually comes to a bit of a point and you can feel it in the middle. It's not really a good feeling, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad feeling. As for the stock, it is kind of short. I do think the stock could be a lot longer, but it is pretty comfortable to brace against your shoulder. Putting your cheek on this thing sucks though, because this thing holds a rocket, or well, it holds a rocket right here, and it digs heavily into your cheek, or it ends up funneling your chin into it, to which you end up shouldering the blaster wrong. So how does this blaster work? Well, it's a magazine-fed flywheeler just like the Strife. So you put the mag in, you rev, and then it's semi-automatic. Now, let's talk about the triggers here and talk about putting the mag in and taking the mag out. The mag well and taking the mag out is very, very smooth and very nice, but I will say it's a little bit tighter than the Strife. It does feel like it's got a bit more force to it, so in order to get it to mag drop, you have to push the mag release and give it a bit of a jolt to get it down. But let's talk about the triggers themselves really quickly. This blaster's got all three that you would see on any semi-automatic blaster. It's got a main trigger, a rev trigger, and a mag release. The mag release is a little bit too clicky. I think that the mag release could be a little bit more smushy, but I digress. It is a pretty good mag release, all things considered. As for the rev trigger, very nice and clicky, just like the Strife. It goes when you pull it in and is a very nice pull. As for the main trigger, it is genuinely so good that it might actually be better than the Strife. I don't know. It's really hard to tell, but seriously, this is a good trigger. This is a good, responsive semi-auto trigger, and I have no complaints with the trigger whatsoever. Very smooth, very nice on your finger, very, very good trigger. And the jam door is my favorite kind that slides back and has an actual like little spring-loaded notch that holds it shut. Really, really cool. It's not just friction pressed. But then again, if you run out of darts and you feel like going idiot mode, you can do this. And it shoots one of those. And this is actually the first blaster that used these things, hence why they're called demolisher rockets. You just take one, you front load it up here, and then it's a traditional style hamp, so you pull this thing forwards, and then you push it back as hard as you can to fire it. And yes, this blaster shoots the rockets unapologetically hard and unironically outperforms 
all of the like standalone rocket launchers that I've seen. Like the Thunder Blast, the Roblox one, the Fortnite one, the Fortnite GL. This thing shoots them so much harder and so much more accurately than all of those. I don't know. I love the integration of the rocket launcher. And this blaster is actually the first and only case so far where I would want to use these rockets in a nerf war. Because being able to just have a blaster that you use as a strife and then every once in a while, oh, there's a guy with a shield. Now he doesn't have the shield anymore because I just hit him with a demolisher rocket. Easy peasy. Yeetus, cheetus. So what do I think about the Demolisher? I got nothing. This thing is freaking awesome. This is kind of baby's first do everything blaster, mainly because it is pretty much just as moddable and serviceable as a Strife, but with the added functionality of having a quote unquote integration pre-built in. This is something that people would have been doing with blasters back in the day, and people actually do take this thing off and use it as an integration part for a Strife. I'm not exactly sure why, because in my eyes, just modifying this thing seems like it would be easier, but to each their own. I understand why a lot of integrations are made, but not really this one. Unless you're turning it into a barrel attachment, then it makes sense. But being able to easily switch between ammo types without having to worry about stupid smart ARs or anything like that, and using an ammo type that is super efficient, and then one that is just super effectively goofy, is such a cool concept, and this blaster pulls it off immeasurably well. This is seriously one of the best blasters I've ever seen in my entire life, and I think that it is absolutely worth the price tag. I actually got it on sale, and right now on Amazon, you can get this blaster for $25. So if you plan on getting a demolisher, I recommend doing it sooner than later because I don't know how long that deal is going to last. With that said, if you do want to get this blaster, the link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.